How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to add in these stream labels whenever you're streaming over on Kick. To do this, we're going to be going over to Botrex and the link's going to be in the video description below for you. So once you're logged in, just go over to widgets on the left side and you're going to go to these event labels. Now for the event labels, you'll have to create multiple of them to be able to get this. So the first one you can go through is doing like either latest follower or latest tip donator, tip amount, top tip, stuff like that. So you can choose from these different ones that are available for whatever one you want. And then once you have that, you can then adjust how you want it to look. So for latest follower, you can have it to be naming something else for the template. So if you don't want it to say latest follower, you could do something else. But you want to keep the value as it is. Don't change that, but you can change the latest follower template name. And then for your stuffed, you can either have it be color or it could be a gradient. You can choose between two different types of gradients. So it can look something like that. Now for outline, you can either have it be an outline or it can be a glow. So here's going to be the outline. Kind of show you that green outline on it. You can also change the color for that too. Or you can go with more of like a glow and then you can also change the color for the glow as well. But I'm just gonna keep it on none. And then for your typography, this is gonna be your font. So you can change the font to whatever you want it to be. And for this one, you're actually getting a lot more fonts compared to some of the other things that they offer for the uh, widgets. So you can choose whatever font you want. And then you have just one animation to where it moves. I'm just gonna leave it on none. And then if you wanna change the alignment for it, you can too. So for latest follower, I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy and we're gonna bring this into our OBS. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete both of these just so that way we have a clean slate. And we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new browser. Now you can do this in both OBS Studio and Streamlabs. So you're gonna just create a browser source in either one of those programs and then you'll be able to paste it in and now you'll have latest follower right there. So let's say we want to leave that one up here and we want to create another one. So we're going to lock that and we're going to go back in here and let's change it to like last tip donator. We'll just leave everything as it is. It will say no data because I don't have any currently and we'll hit copy and then we'll go back in here, create brand new browser and we'll paste the link. And now it's right up there, kind of hiding. Make this a little bit bigger. And then we can just kind of put that right underneath. So that will be how you'll be able to add in your stream labels or whatever they want to call it. I think it's event labels is what they call it, but it's essentially a stream label. Now, one thing that I will say is if it does not update, what you're going to have to do is go and click on whichever one's not updating, highlight it in here and click refresh and then it will show you whatever data that it's not refreshing. That is one of the hiccups with this that I've realized and I don't know if it's something that will get fixed, but if you do realize if, you, if you're using this and for some reason it's not updating, just refresh it and you should be fine. But yeah, that is pretty much how you set it up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. But if you found this video helpful, definitely take a look at the other tutorials on the channel. And if you're wanting to get familiar with Kick or get started on Kick, definitely take a look at this playlist here on the screen as it's gonna give you everything you're gonna need to know about the platform to get you started. And I'm always adding more stuff to it. So if you enjoy content like that, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon. That way you can get notified when I upload. And if you want to hang out with me whenever I stream or ask me questions when I'm live, feel free to follow me over on Kick as well. Just look up Creovox or click on the link in the video description below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.